So I'd like to explain to you the differences between a pro gym rebounder or pro mini trampoline versus a, a cheaper mini trampoline that you can buy on the market today. And the main differences that I want to talk about um, are basically the build specification and also the performance of the rebounder. So let's start with the pro gym rebounder. First of all, the most noticeable difference is it weighs a good 11 and a half kilograms in weight. And we need the rebounders to be really heavy so that basically they're, they're very, very stable. On the cheaper rebounder unit, it weighs about three and a half to four kilos. So it's very lightweight and is obviously gonna be a little bit more unstable. So let's talk about the product features and the difference in the specifications. So on the Pro Gym Rebounder model, you can see we have six very sturdy, robust legs that have a spring-loaded mechanism that actually allows you to fold the legs down flush. And these basically fit onto the metal stud that's reinforced galvanized steel. So it really is quite a solid unit and very easy to set up and put away. On the cheaper mini trampoline, basically we have this screw-in leg design. So you have to screw the legs in onto a thread onto the rebounder, which can take quite a bit of time. And also, the legs themselves are a lot thinner, so they're not gonna give you as much stability when you're bouncing on the rebounder. It's important to notice as well, whilst we're talking about the legs, you can see the, the rubber tip on the end, so you've got the small rubber tips, the black rubber tips, and again, some of them can mark the floor. On the Pro Rebounder version, we have the non-marking grey rubber tips, which really have a wide surface base area. And this is really important because they're non-slip, so you get more grip, but they also won't leave any marks on, on your floors as well. So the Pro Gym Rebounder has a very advanced spring system. It has 36 muscle-shaped large springs that attach to the rim via this uh, strong rivet bolt, and that basically dissipates the forces of the rebounder through the spring, through the, the rivet, and through the rebounder. On the cheaper version, you'll notice the smaller springs that are straight, they have less coils, and they insert straight into the rim of the rebounder, so it's not going to be as robust. When you look at the design of the spring cover itself, you'll notice that with the Pro Rebounder, we specifically designed the skirt cover or the spring cover to retract away from the springs. So this is quite important. When you're exercising on the Rebounder, you don't want to have a cover that's coming right up to the end of the mat surface. So that if you do tread to the outside by the springs, you're just going to roll back into the center here. On the cheaper rebounder version, the covers generally come right onto the mat surface, which can cause a bit of a problem, and we can get our feet caught in the end there. So now I'd like to talk about the performance of the rebounders. So the Pro Gym Rebounder, because of the shape of the springs, they've got this large muscle shape, they're calibrated from the factory. They've got 22 coils, which gives it a very, very low impact bounce. So when you're actually exercising on the rebounder, you get this lovely low impact feel. So it's very, very kind on your joints. It's a nice, quiet bounce. It's a resilient bounce. It's not too soft, but it's not too hard as well. So we can do all of our fitness workouts on the Pro Gym Rebounder. With the cheaper version of rebounders or mini trampolines with the smaller springs, you find that the bounce is really hard. So it's hardly low impact at all. It's almost like jumping on the floor. So again, I don't really know how much impact that's going to take away from your joints, but there's a huge difference in the way they feel and the way they perform. With using a rebounder where you can really get a lot of push into the mat surface with a larger spring, you're going to get more G-force. And more G-force equals bigger calorie burn. 
So we get those types of fitness benefits as well. It's a little bit more unstable surface, which is a good thing. It means you're gonna get that involuntary contraction of the abdominals, which is what we want when we're working out on the rebounder. The last thing I'd like to mention is about the mat surface. So this is a Permatron non-slip mat surface. It has very, very thick, strong webbing around the outside of the mat. And this is actually cross-stitched and reinforced stitched at the back, which makes it extremely robust and less likely uh, to come undone. On the cheaper version, we have a very thin band. Okay, it's not cross-stitched and it's more likely to become undone at the, fabric, at the fabric loops. So Maximus Life and Rebound Fitness have been manufacturing and designing rebounders for over 15 years now. We have a whole range of rebounders, from entry-level rebounders, to folding rebounders, to performance rebounders. We even have a bungee sprung rebounder as well. So we really have a whole variety, a whole range of rebounders to basically support every single population. And it's our goal and our vision to get as many people as possible rebounding and doing this wonderful, healthy, researched exercise all around the world.